My name is Dr. Erin Klosko, and I'm the chairperson of the Physical Sciences Department. I'm starting my 18th year as a science professor here at Westchester Community College. I'm honored, proud, and thrilled to deliver this keynote address to you guys this morning, uh, especially this group of first-year students. Just sitting in your seat is no small step. So congratulations on arriving here. I also happen to be a mother. Yesterday, I took my 11-year-old daughter to her first day of school in sixth grade, middle school. Today, as I look at your bright, eager faces, I realize that in a lot of ways, the first day of school is the same no matter how old you are. Whether you're a freshman in college or a sixth grader entering middle school, there's an excitement, an eagerness, a newness to school that's palpable and fun. On the other hand, though, there are some important differences in starting college. I suggest that the biggest difference is the fact that in college, there's a huge swing in independence in favor of the student. Until now, most of your education has been laid out for you. Where you go, when to go there, what to study. Sure, you had a few elective choices, but mostly school was a cut and dried plan. Now in college, the good news is that you have a big, wide open set of opportunities. You are in charge. You're in control of your day and your time. But with that independence comes responsibility. And that means it's up to you to make the most of your opportunities. So this morning, and everybody's giving you their lists of hints and, and things to think about, but I actually have eight key lessons because eight is my favorite number, so sorry about that. But I've learned in my over 20 years of college teaching, I hope I can give you some advice and some lessons to think about while you're here as students at Westchester Community College. Number one, knowledge is power. Throughout history, people have been denied the opportunity of an education by oppressors. Why? Because education makes you powerful. You could use your education to better your life. The late and former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. No matter what the subject, by learning things, you will be better for it. Becoming fluent in Italian, understanding accounting, how to administer basic paramedic care, how to do an MRI on a dog. Pick your course and learn. You'll be better for it. You'll be more empowered to succeed in life. Number two, you don't have to be a genius. Too often in life today, there are stereotypes. Often pe people think that you have to be exceptionally intelligent to succeed in college. And I'm going to tell you that this is entirely wrong. Organization and attitude are the two things that I think matter most. Today, you get a fresh start. You get to become who you want to be as an adult student, not what people have told you that you are. Don't worry about solving all the world's problems in one day. Worry about addressing the work in front of you today, one day at a time. Which brings me to number three. Perseverance and grit. There's a saying that half the battle is showing up. In college, attendance is largely up to you. This isn't high school anymore. If you wish to spend thousands of dollars on your education, skip all the classes, sneak by on the final exam, that's your money and time to waste. I would encourage you not to do that. I would encourage you to show grit by showing up every day, not just physically, but mentally. Keep in mind, this is your education. Nobody is going to do the learning for you. You need to own your learning. Give this experience your time and energy, and you will be amazed at the outcomes. It might sound corny, but you get out of it what you put into it. So show up prepared, ask questions, get the most out of your time at school. Number four, don't give up if something is difficult. One thing I can almost guarantee is at some point in your time here, you'll be confronted with something that you don't understand, a challenge that is hard. That is the time to push ahead and not give up. If you do so, 
That is the moment for the greatest reward. This is what learning really is. So when you're faced with that problem that seems out of your reach, pause, reflect, and keep at it. Number five, don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone. As a person that teaches in the sciences, too often I hear that students feel they are not good at science, not good at math. Don't be afraid to try something new. You have very little to lose and so much to gain. I have a particular view on this as a woman. Why do you think in 2019 we're past this point? I suggest we're not. Women continue to be underrepresented in math and sciences, so while this point should resonate with everyone in the audience, I specifically challenge our female students to try something different. Take a class in something you've always wanted to learn, but need a little extra courage. Number six, somewhere something incredible is waiting to be known. It's my hope that you will view your enrollment at Westchester Community College as a chance to think about the world around you New things, crazy things, the meaning of a poem, the motivation of an artist, evidence used to come up with a scientific theory. As you learn new things, you will also change. Once you open yourself up to learning and thinking about new things, you will never look at the world again the same way. Prepare to have your mind blown. Number seven, find something that you could be passionate about. It's been said, do what you love and you will never work a day in your life. It is my hope that you can use your experience at Westchester Community College to find something to study, leading to a job that doesn't feel like work every day. Try to find something that will excite you to wake up in the morning every day. All right, and last, number eight. I said there were eight, so we're at the end, coming around the bend here. Attitude is everything. For this one, I have to defer to one of my favorite quotations. It's a bit long, so I'll share the most appropriate for today. The longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude is more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. The remarkable thing is that we have a choice every day regarding the attitude we will embrace for that day. I'm convinced that life is 10% what happens to me, and 90% of how I react. And so, it is with you. We are in charge of our attitudes. So in closing, I'll leave you with one more personal story. Um, standing up here as a professor at WCC, you might be surprised um, to hear that I wasn't a serious student in high school. I didn't give school the attention it deserved. I went off to college and I was a French major. From there, as my education progressed, I took things more seriously and kept at it. And I actually found a true passion for science, particularly geology. Yes, rocks. I really like learning about rocks. I, I still kind of do. It, I was lucky enough to earn a BS and then a master's degree and eventually a PhD from Northwestern University. And when I showed up on my first day of college, if you had told me that I'd end up with a PhD from Northwestern, I would have laughed in your face. But somehow, here I am. And I'm grateful for it because taking my education seriously rewarded me in ways I can only begin to describe. So this morning, it's still morning, I congratulate you on starting this auspicious and amazing first step as a college student. You've got this. Good luck and have fun.